to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So in today's video, I have five tips to help you all have a productive, happy, healthy holiday or Christmas season. So I probably should have done this video earlier in December, but hey, better late than never. This is what I've done throughout December so far, and it's really helped me uh, be on top of everything, not feel too overwhelmed with the holiday season, because with a new course I'm launching, a new website I'm launching, getting ready for a musical, and everything else that I have going on, I want the holidays to not add added stress onto my life, I just want them to be a fun, happy time. So this is how I like to be productive during the holidays and have everything in order. Not everything is always perfect, or I don't have everything always together, but these five tips do help. So tip number one is if you haven't already, have a planning day. So since we're halfway through December, I'm guessing you maybe have bought a few gifts already, you've already bought some new decorations. So what I want you to do is sit down, write out a list of the budget you wanna spend for your Christmas gifts and the budget you wanna spend on like parties, decorations, that kind of thing. Then add up the gifts you've already bought or the stuff you've already spent. Um, and then figure out how much you have left. If you've already gone over budget, you'll just know for next year. But if you still have some money left over, then plan out the people you still have to buy your gifts for or the parties you still have to go to, and then how much you need to spend on each. And then you can start bargain hunting to get the best prices for each of those gifts, for each of those decorations or party items. So if you feel like you've spent way too much money so far on Christmas or the holidays, then starting today watching this video, you can budget it all out, see what else you have to buy, see how much money you have left to spend, it's a lot easier to bargain hunt too when you know exactly what you need to buy and exactly you have how much you have to spend. Also on this planning day, plan out all the activities that you want to do for the rest of the month. Maybe your New Year's um, party plans or maybe you want to go to like your local amusement park. You want to go look at Christmas lights. You want to have a movie marathon. Like plan out all the fun festive activities we all say we're going to do in December but we don't always get done. And then plan out and then get your planner or get your phone and plan out specific days to do each of those activities and invite obviously friends, family to do them with you. And then like that, in an hour, you have tons of fun Christmas activities planned in your schedule, ready to go. So it's not just like, oh yeah, I have nothing to do tonight. I'm just gonna stay home and watch some Netflix. Like no, go out and look at some lights, go to a Christmas concert, like you'll have stuff to do. I feel like something we all go through is having a holiday party or event to go to and having nothing to wear. So. If you haven't done this already, at this point in the season, look at your closet and get two to three looks that, you know, look great on you. They're festive, they're fun, whatever you want them to be, and just have a few go-to looks. One of my proudest things I've done this year was buy my holiday purse. It's that red purse that's been showing up everywhere in my videos and on my Instagram theme. And I was so proud of this purchase because it was a great price and I'm only going to really use it probably for this season because it's a color I normally don't wear. Um, but now I'm wearing just like an all black or an all white outfit. I have that touch of accessory. So whenever I'm just going shopping or going to get coffee, like I look festive and put together for the holidays, which is great. Three, I do this every year and it's come in handy. I keep mini gifts in my car, like under $10. I keep them in my car already wrapped. So if I'm going to a party and say I totally forgot that there was a dirty Santa, I can just run out to my car, grab one of the little gifts, and then I have it ready. Or if you're meeting someone for a brunch and they're like, oh, here, I got you a gift. You can be like, oh my gosh, I totally left yours in the car. And then you go get one of your little hidden mini gifts in the car and no one ever has to know that, you know, it wasn't specifically for them. You just bought a bunch of general gifts. And then at the end of the season on Christmas Day, if you have so many gifts left over, you can always hand them out to family and friends as extra mini gifts. But it's always good to have at least two or three on hand. And if you want to see some gift ideas, my last video was a gift guide. So I'll have that linked below and in the cards and at the end of this video. Gift wrapping, some people love gift wrapping and some people think it's the most tedious thing in the world. I think it's a little bit of both. I get really into it for like the first hour and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. So in order to power through all that gift wrapping that you're gonna have to do, you can either put on your favorite movie, that's what I do, I put on my movie on my computer and then I sit on the floor and I just wrap for however long the movie is. Or a fun tip to have is to make it a date. Just get your boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, dad, friend, anyone who would want to gift wrap with you and you can make a wrapping date out of it. So you put on a movie, you make some snacks, some hot chocolate, you lay out all of your gorgeous wrapping paper, you know, you make a beautiful spread of everything, get all your ribbons, have them bring over the washi tape, the scissors, the tape, like have it all planned out and then you just wrap gifts. Obviously you don't wrap each other's gifts, but you wrap other people's gifts. My last tip is to take care of yourself this season. So don't wait till New Year's to eat a vegetable for the first time this month. Okay, guys, make sure to love yourself and then you'll automatically feel like you're having a more productive holiday season because 
you know, the holidays are about giving, so we want to give, 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 but if we give all of ourselves, then we're going to have nothing else to give by the time this holiday's over. So in going into New Year's, you know, everyone's focused on themselves, but you should start focusing on yourself now and taking care of yourself so you can continue to give throughout the whole year and not just at this crazy holiday time. So guys, that was it for this video, and if you liked this kind of video and these tips, get ready because I have lots planned for January. 2018 is going to be the year of you and me. We're working together to achieve some awesome goals, and I have very exciting videos on the way along with lots of fun announcements so guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you not tomorrow but the next day for another one bye peace out happy holidays